Price elasticity of demand, or PED, is a measure of the responsiveness of quantity demanded, QD, to changes in price, P. The formula for calculating it is percentage change in QD divided by percentage change in P. PED is always negative because quantity demanded and price always move in opposite directions, according to the law of demand. However, for the purposes of interpreting the value of PED, we ignore the negative sign and only look at the absolute value. PED can range from zero all the way to infinity, but the most frequently encountered cases are those of price elastic demand and price inelastic demand. When demand is price elastic, the absolute value of PED will be greater than 1, and the demand curve will be relatively flat, while when demand is price inelastic, the absolute value of PED will be less than 1, and the demand curve will be relatively steep. How is knowledge of price elasticity of demand useful to firms? Well, knowledge of PED helps firms in their pricing decisions, especially when their goal is to increase sales revenue. If the demand for a firm's product is price inelastic, this means that any change in price will lead to a less than proportionate change in quantity demanded, and so raising the price from P1 to P2, for example, will lead to a less than proportionate fall or decrease in quantity demanded from Q1 to Q2. As you can see on the diagram, the gain in revenue from raising the price, which is the box here, is greater than the loss of revenue from the resulting decrease in quantity demanded, which is this box here. On the diagram, we can see that P2Q2 is greater than P1Q1. Therefore, in order to increase total revenue, this firm should raise its price. A very good example of a product with price inelastic demand is cigarettes, due to their addictive and habit-forming nature. However, if the demand for the product is price elastic, which means any change in price will lead to a more than proportionate change in quantity demanded, the better strategy to increase total revenue is to lower the product's price. And this is because the loss of revenue from lowering the price, which is this box here, will be smaller than the gain in revenue from the resulting increase in quantity demanded, which is this box right here. On the diagram, we can see that P2Q2 is greater than P1Q1. A very good example of a product with price elastic demand is yachts, due to them being expensive luxury items. Therefore, knowledge of their products, PED, helps firms with deciding whether raising or cutting the price will generate more sales revenue. How is knowledge of price elasticity of demand useful to governments? Knowledge of PED helps governments determine which products to tax. Governments impose indirect taxes for a variety of reasons. To raise tax revenue, to discourage production and consumption of demerit goods, and to correct market failure. For example, cigarettes typically have inelastic demand. So increasing taxes on them can effectively raise revenue while potentially reducing consumption for public health benefits. An indirect tax on cigarettes will raise the costs of production for tobacco companies and so shift the supply curve leftward from S1 to S2, thus raising the price paid by consumers from P1 to PC while lowering the price received by producers from P1 to PP. The difference between PC and PP is the tax per unit, and the green rectangle is the amount of government tax revenue collected. Production and consumption also decrease from Q1 to Q2. Since demand is inelastic, the tax per unit has to be high enough to effectively discourage consumption. Therefore, governments use elasticity concepts to shape effective policies. When implementing taxes, Understanding PED helps predict how tax changes will affect consumer behavior and tax revenue.